If you like well-written animated films with heart, humor, and great action, actually scratch that. If you are currently or have ever been alive, then you probably love The Incredibles. Experience a film that's got a little bit of everything. From Silver Age comic book heroes to a dark snapshot of a dying marriage, slick retro James Bond style to a portrait of a midlife crisis, the warm glow of familial love to the soul-crushing modern-day workplace. Once again, your pay picks are to yank your heart around like an emotional yo-yo. <laughs> I love this. Meet the Pars, an incredibly dysfunctional family. Violet is neglected. Dash is hurting people for fun. Bob is sneaking around behind his wife's back. And Helen's in denial about his obvious lies. Have a great trip. Thanks, sweetie. They've got more issues than a comic book shop. And the only way to resolve them is to put on spandex and beat the crap out of some robots together. Oh, I love you. Enter a world where the government has banned superheroes for fairly obvious reasons. You knocked down a building? Now, Bob will have to adjust to not being able to punch people for a living until he leaps in an opportunity to work for a killer robot company with a volcano lair. I'm in. Dude, you were a hero for like decades and you didn't see any red flags here? I'm starting to think this guy just wants to hurt people with no consequences. Hey, heroes don't do that, unless you're Batman. Batman totally does that. Tower before one of the best supervillains of all time, Syndrome. A perfect prediction of today's entitled fan culture. He's a nerd who loves something so much that when it didn't live up to his expectations, You're not affiliated with me! He declared war on it. And now, only the Incredibles can stop him from, uh, letting me buy rocket boots? I'll sell my inventions so that everyone can be superheroes. Well, that's just great. Now how am I supposed to become a hero? Toxic waste-covered reptiles aren't cheap, you know. Radical! 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 Enjoy the best Fantastic Four movie never made that fixes all the flaws from those awful, awful films. Having its four heroes feel like a real family, not treating their powers like a joke, and making it so Mr. Fantastic is married to the thing, which is way hotter. I mean, better. I mean, damn it, they're just both so thick. So cheer up, Logan, and turn that frown upside down, Rorschach, because The Incredibles proves you don't have to be R-rated to be a violent, angsty superhero movie. With the super high body count, Attempted suicide. Heroes threatening to murder innocent people. It'll be easy, like breaking a toothpick. Grown men shooting at little kids. And little kids killing grown men. You wonder what made Brad Bird fly into a homicidal rage between the Iron Giant and this movie. Ah! Uh, probably the box office. Money, 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 money. Starring Hunk Hill, Stretch Arms Mom, Nick Flurry, Phony Stark. Dick Silver, Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet, the Epcot Center, Grown Up Stewie. Do you find something comical about my appearance when I'm driving my automobile? And Center the Fembots! This is Fantastic 40. So that old cape rant that Edna goes on? No capes! Were those her designs that got all those heroes killed before she learned her lesson? Because, uh, whew, that's dark. Neither rain, nor snow, nor sleet, nor laryngitis shall keep the epic voice from his appointed rounds. Continue talking, Meg. It's muffin time. People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Get these denim snakes of this denim plane.